What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today, so Season 3 is actually out now, and I wanted to look through the system mechanics, but like in the actual game now. Now that we don't have to theorize or whatever, it took some time to just mess around with some of the new stuff in the game. Uh, I'm going to share what I think is pretty important, and of course the first thing I want to talk about is the new Limit Break. So. Um, and I've been thinking about this uh, for the past like few hours too. So when the game came out, we had sparking, and uh, sparking was kind of our original comeback mechanic. But uh, long term, people don't actually really use sparking as a comeback mechanic. Uh, it can serve as one in cases, but uh, generally people use it to like protect their teams and stuff. You see that a lot at high level, where like you know one one player is starting to get the momentum a little bit too much. The other player will spark to protect their point, and then like either try to kill, try to get meat, or try to get out of there, reverse the situation, something. So now we have like a comeback mechanic, comeback mechanic called limit break. So first off, you get a damage boost. It's very easy to see here. So this standard combo is like 3.2k with my limit break trunks. It was gonna be like 3.8, 3.9, right? More damage here. Uh, also, apparently, you do more blue life. To me, it's not that noticeable. It looks pretty negligible, but it looks like there's something. But it's not. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. And then, of course, when you go into it, you gain meters. So really, the big thing is that you just do a lot of damage. When you start comparing, like, take this for example. All right. So this does about five thousand flat, right? And then on player two side with the limit break, we are going to do, I think I added an extra hit, but even then, it's going to do way, way more. It's getting close to like 6,000 damage, right? This is getting close to, it's actually straight up 6,000. So. It is a pretty significant damage increase, I would say. Um, a lot of things can happen because of this. Um, there are more potentials for anchors now because of like the assist selection, so you might see uh, people picking slightly more varied uh, assist. I still feel like it's going to be in the same lane, like people will have the same goals, either like, don't hit me or I'm going to hit you, but there's probably a couple more options now than there were before. Um, I don't know how much it destabilizes the game because it is not that big of a difference and it's a solo character and even if people like like yeah I can save my spark for this too and become like mega powerful damage wise because I believe this stacks it definitely stacks but it's not like I don't think stacking it necess unless like the match just happens to go that way I don't think it's gonna be like a super common strategy at high level um Def I, I'm not sure. This this one I want to see play out a little bit first. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that it's for when like people are tagging in the three versus one situation and like you just can't kill them. That's the only thing I can think of for this. Uh, we'll see. I haven't played any matches yet. I'm gonna play my first matches today, um, today and tomorrow to see how it kind of feels. So next I want to cover fuzzy. So for the most part. Uh, I basically think they're gone from the game. Uh, there is one change that, like, I... So, in the original notes, I was like, oh, they didn't mention what happens if you just catch somebody, like, normally. But it seems like, uh... It seems like, uh, this. So, I have it to, uh... Crouching guard. Um... So, crouching guard, all guard, and then switch. Right? So, switch. Uh... And the CPU is getting hit by that. That's telling me that uh, that is not connecting. And I think that's uh, one of the first changes they mentioned is that uh, the various jump attacks can't hit crouching state attacks while rising, specifically. So uh, I think that's what this is. What I just showed was this also applies to, of course, snap. Like uh, all the changes where, like, if you like, when you're landing, you can never, like, let's say the GT, right? The GT Goku Classic. You cannot, you cannot do this. Uh, you're considered grounded right before you land, so you can't do the Piccolo stuff. Uh, 
So you can still get like you. Can, it's not like you can't high low. Like you can still like like do something like this and catch them like this. But you're just doing like a normal high low rather than like like some extra some extra thing like some extra layer with like rising rising layer uh rising overhead kind of thing. Um, like I said, a lot of people were asking for this. Uh, it affects. The game quite a bit because you know it got to the point where you could do these types of mix-ups on everybody um so one most people would have like myself i had to go back to the back to the lab figure out how to do other types of mix-ups and other types of situations um it makes the general scene feel better about characters uh it also indirectly buffs already pretty strong characters like uh this where well, you see these characters like these are characters i'm looking at playing but there's a couple of others I'm looking at playing that I have not played before, um, but we'll see about we'll see about that. I guess when you snap someone now, it's not just that there's two timings, and this actually makes me really uh, like I get it, I get why they did this, but I am actually pretty upset about this change uh, after seeing it in practice. You know, uh, so the fastest snap comes out by default, right? This is like 12. Plus 12, plus 13, whatever. And when you hold back, it's not that you hold back and you come out at a different timing. It's you hold back and you come out at the timing that you want. So it's another another variable timing that you have to deal with, the attacking player has to deal with in this game. I'm pretty upset about this, to be honest. Uh, but, but we'll see how this plays out. Like short term is going to play out very well for the people who are asking for it. I was always on the team that why not make the... Uh, the assist timer regeneration be faster so you know it's like eight seconds right uh they left it at eight seconds why not make it four or something uh but this also this also changes certain things that people were able to do before because universal fuzzy and snaps aside uh especially like at higher levels you had like uh, like honestly some pretty crazy but cool mix-ups where you could like call certain assists and like they'll pull the character out of the corner you could like left right down there's a bunch of cool stuff you could do uh you basically i would say can't do most of these things uh and the timing with uh with you being plus 13 by default the timing makes it so that uh you can't use the assist to cover you first because uh adult go on i think is still the fastest assist and they slowed him down and i believe he was like 15 frames i don't know what the number is now but the fastest the opponent comes in now is 13 frames, so uh, you, like you, the point character, can get over there. But like an assist, there's no assist in the game that can get over there first, which is a uh, uh, so it, it it introduces like two RPSs at the same time, right? Like one is if you snap in a character with like an air reversal, are they going to do it? Because now you don't have time generally, I think, to cover it with something and then two when are they going to come in because they could vary their timing by a lot uh so i don't know i don't know what the match flow is going to be like o honestly i think the game's going to look pretty sloppy for the next like couple of months not just because it's a new patch and like people might be playing new characters and stuff but also they added another variable delay timing to this game that's kind of like i actually can't believe they did that remember when i didn't know what this input was so now you reflect key blasts. You can super dash out of it. I don't think it's that fast. I don't, I don't think it's frame one. It looks pretty fast, but right, you sit there. Also variable timing. You can cancel into super dash. Uh, but it seems like you can. You have to kind of be mashing to get it, but you can go straight into it. Uh, it's a nice other option you could have that's not just because we all know at this point like yeah you can super dash key blast but like the good key blast is kind of a risk like you're taking big risks and stuff now you have like a, a passive option that builds you meter uh during it that's a pretty interesting dynamic right there uh i feel like it's kind of a preventative thing there's a lot of like new uh key blast assists that are kind of good like 45 degree angles ones like 16 has one z broly has one um there's of course characters with good key blast zoning like base vegeta out here stuff like that kind of like a preventative thing we'll see how this one plays out uh i haven't messed with it on defense really i was just like okay this is weird i'm gonna try it in some matches today see how that works next dragon rush so dragon rush is basically the same um 
easier to use in combos, stuff like that. There's two things that are big. So one is this, right? This, this, which is different than, well, actually I'll use a different normal. Different timing than this. You now have to deal with this. Canceled immediately. It's generally 20 frames. So it's a little slower than like a raw point blank dragon rush, generally. But uh, it's definitely something new you have to look for. Uh, I was kind of practicing against it last night and I was like, oh, this is weird. Um, the other thing is, of course, too, you can now, and I think this is a good change. This is a very good change. Uh, you can now move after Dragon Rush cancel. So, like I said before, this prevents you from getting locked out by certain characters immediately. I think there's going to be ways to still, like, cover a bunch of options here, but uh, a lot of the things that people used to do, like uh, Kid Buu, Jump Medium, uh, GT, EX Lariat is another example like this um, you're not going to be just locked you at least have like some type of option you could do so like let's say in the case of here right let's do uh, whoops it's up here up right you get to slip right out slip right out of there so that's a pretty good change I would say EX moves cost half a bar now that's crazy um, really not much to say about this. EX moves have pretty minimal meter cooldown too, so expect to see a lot of them on the characters that have good ones. And I'd also say too that, uh, over time, probably the characters that will be strong are the characters that have good EX moves. Make, makes sense, but, uh, we'll see in like the next month or so what people come up with teams. Okay, so last is going to be about assists, and, uh, it's specifically going to be about, uh, the assist recovery so this actually affects the attacker it seems uh more than the defender which uh in my original video when you got the notes i thought it was going to kind of affect the defender but it doesn't work out that way so uh here i'll call gt i'll just See how this doesn't come back? You have to leave us, uh, apparently you have to leave the same amount of time as an opponent has to tag, so like 30 frames, for, for your assist to come back. That's a pretty long time. Um, this affects the attacker quite a bit. Uh, it's a good and a bad thing, like, there are cases where, like, let's say, the, the example characters are definitely Season 2 top tiers, right? So characters like Bardock, Adult Gohan, GT Goku, uh, Kid Buu. They're, they're characters who have block strings that they are really good at taking their turn back and getting their assist back. And they have good mix-ups, like really good high-low or something. Something, right? Um, this kind of tones them down some, but it also affects everybody else who were not as good at doing that. So, uh, like... I'm kind of 50-50 on this one, whether I like this change that much or not. I'm sure, like, your general player is going to like this because uh, I think you have to be at a certain level in the game to understand the defense, like, how good defense is, how little what most people do doesn't mean anything um, until you get to the point where, like, uh, like, like, let's say you're super deep in a bracket, everyone's playing, like, Kid Buu GT, and you're like, uh-oh, can't get touched. But, like, early on, you're just like, okay, this guy plays, like, Nappa, whatever, Beerus, like, who cares? Like, you just sit there, take it, it's not that bad. Guard cancel at the right time, and you're golden. Uh, this kind of makes it easier on the defender. Uh, I basically, as an overall thing, I basically think this game just becoming, going to become, like, just way more uh, defensive. Or, like, I, I, I don't know I don't know what to think about some of the changes. Like, uh if not like saying the game becomes way more defensive uh the game feels like it's just more guessy like random i don't know uh i'll see in the next like week or two how i feel so um if you have any questions about these uh leave a comment in the description like and subscribe if you feel like it and i'll see you next time peace out